In this video, I'm going to look at setting up a feature definition for a node so that we can model the location of the end of a pipe. So we don't want an inlet or a head wall or anything like that. We just want to model the end of a pipe. Subsurface Utilities needs there to be a node at the end of the pipe and it could be helpful if, for example, you need to change its elevation or its plan position, but we want to set up some symbology that more accurately reflects the situation that we're trying to model. So in Project Explorer, in the current design file, we can expand the tree structure and we can see that I've got a, a feature definition for my conduit and a feature definition for the uh, two drainage nodes. Now I want to create a new feature definition here. And I want to use some simple symbology, perhaps a small circle uh, in the 2D and the 3D views. It gives me something that I can pick, but it's far less obtrusive than the, the inlet shown here. If I go to my libraries and feature definitions, I'm going to open up the, the sample drainage uh, DGN library. And under conflict nodes, we've got a feature definition here called new conflict. Now I'm going to copy that feature definition because it's something like what I want to use. And I'm going to paste it into my current DGN. Now if I go to element and element templates, There's the uh, element template for the, the conflict symbology. I'm just going to copy those two templates and I'm going to paste them under storm sewer nodes here. I'm going to change the name. Of the, uh, the plan and the 3D cells to reflect uh, what they're going to represent. Now I can change the, I'm just looking at the level there, drainage storm sewer, so I could maybe change the, uh, the level in the, uh, the template here. Just to set this up correctly. Now, the active cell used in this element template is a, a, a sphere in, in 3D and a, a circle in 2D. Now, I'm going to make this um, symbology, uh, this cell, um, the scale of the cell, a lot smaller. So I'm just going to adjust these values. So 0 0.01 and for that sort of the 2D cell and for the 3D cell let's make these um, a lot smaller as well 0 0.1 something like that okay so that's the plan and the 3D symbology that we're going to use for this feature definition let's change the name of that feature and go to its properties. So the utility type, now we want it, this is the end of a pipe, so this is a, a stormwater situation. So I'm gonna pick stormwater. Now if you wanted to uh, create this sort of symbology, this sort of feature definition for other utility types, you could, you would just set up the utility type appropriately. Let's uh, just put in a prefix there for the name. The structure type, I'm going to set to user defined and we'll call it location point. And then we need to select our element template. So there's the location point plan. We'll use the same template for the profile. And if we scroll down, we then need to select the bottom template location point bottom. So we've got our new feature definition with an appropriate name. We've set up the properties to say that this is going to be used on stormwater um, type. And we've set up the symbology appropriately, selecting our element template and our element templates are set up to use the appropriate cell and the appropriate scaling. 
So now we've got that. If I pick this node here, I can go to the in element information. I can go to the feature definition and scroll down and there's my location point listed there. So if I select that feature definition, we can see what's happening in the graphics. So if we look in the, the plan view here, a view of the 2D model, there's the symbology there. If I put focus in the view of the 3D model and we just rotate the model around, you can see the symbology there, just that little small red sphere. Now, having that point there is useful because I can click on it, move it around to change the position of that endpoint. I can also use the element information or the manipulator here to change the elevation. So having that node at the end of a pipe is helpful, but it um, is displaying in the graphics in a more representative um, style for the end of a pipe. Now I've set the feature definition up here in my active design file, just to make sure that I, I like what it's doing and I'm happy with it. Um, if I am, then I would probably want to repeat the process in a DGN library so that that feature definition is then available in every DGN that I'm working in.